Woo, happy yeah, Friday, John. Happy Friday to you, my friend. Happy Friday, everybody. You made it through the week. Congratulations. It's Fun Day Friday. We've got a good one for you. We're bringing the beef, both John and I. Uh, we'll, be seeing in, we'll be seeing you in just a second. Let's go. Fun Day Friday. Oh, cheese and crackers. Cheese and crackers. Mm. Welcome back. First of all, I'm glad to have you back. You made it back alive and unharmed. You look beautiful. Man, I'm telling you, Sin City is not that. It was a great town. All right. I felt well behaved while I was there. Hey, good. Lots I, of work got done. You did. I saw all the work. I saw all the posts. You guys definitely make sure you're following Jody on all social media. Yeah, yeah. Or what are we doing today? Big guy? All right, man. I'm going to be doing a Chipotle tri-tip. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's going to be easy. I'm not going to overcomplicate it. This recipe is available at rectech.com, R-E-C-T-E-Q.com, where the RT-1250 is 15% off, one of my favorite grills. What do you got coming up for us, big guy? I'm going to be doing some shredded beef tacos. I got some chuck roast. Yum. I'm going to be taking you through the ins and outs of that. Super easy to do and awesome, awesome, delicious. A couple steps to yep. layering the flavor in this one, it's huh, big guy? Is. It pretty much is. Did you want to go ahead and get me? Yeah. You want me to go ahead and get us kicked off? Please do. Please do. Cheers, hey, ladies please. and gentlemen, let us know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. I'm right here. I'm live with you. Let us know where you're watching from. We'd love to give you a shout out. But this is Fun Day Friday. Yeah. My name's Jody Flanagan. You can follow me on all social media at Barbecue Dad Jody, BBQ D A D J O D Y. This is my good friend Chef John Pinnell. Yeah, He's right. got over two decades of culinary yeah. experience. Actually, Chef. And I were talking about it yesterday. I'm coming up on 30 years of three, cooking experience. Three decades of cooking 30 experience. Years. Wow, it's a long time. Cheese and crackers, we got. All right, so give it guys, to us. We got chuck roast here. Now you can go to your local grocery store, pick up some chuck roast. Uh, mm. I think Jody got these at our local butcher shop. Is that where you got these from, Jody? Uh, Sam's Club. Sam's Club. All right, and they look don't want to lie. Don't, they look delicious. When you're picking these things out, you want to look for that that intermuscular fat in there. That's what's really going to set this thing off and make it taste Yum. delicious, right? So the first thing we're going to do is season this bad boy up. I'm going to be using that Chef Greg's four letter rub. Okay. As my nice base. base. Yes, sir. A little base right there. San Diego, and, California, Evans, Georgia, Myrtle Beach, uh, Cal Carolina Beach, North yeah. Carolina. What's up, everybody? Love it. All right, and then I'm going to be hitting it with some of that Ben's Heifer Dust. Ooh. Often imitated, never Ooh. duplicated Ben's Heifer Dust. Now, I use this Ben's Heifer Dust on all my beef products, Jerry. Yum. From briskets to burgers, chuck roast, whatever beef I love products. love that. I go ahead and throw that Ben's That's my go-to for hamburgers. Yeah. Now, tip. guys, after we get it seasoned like this, you're definitely going to let this rest for about five to ten minutes so it gets nice and tacky. Okay. I've already seasoned the bottom, but you want to season both sides. Now, okay. I have my grill set to 350 degrees for the Rectech Ultimate Blend Pellet. Yum. Perfect blend of red oak, white oak. I was going to ask you that. Now, come on in here, Taylor. I've already got one in here. Good Lord, it's crowded in there, Big Gay. Lots of room. It's a little Lots of food there. already in there. That's right. We're going to go ahead and pull... The one I already have done. We're gonna pull this bad yeah. boy out. Very now, ladies good. and gentlemen, that looks absolutely amazing. Make sure you smash that share button. We'll give you three seconds to do it. Count us down, John. Three, two, one. Smash it! All right, now we're moving on to the second step. Now, Yum. I've had this in here for about two and a half, three hours. But really, what I'm trying to impress upon you is it looks like it's ready to eat right now, doesn't it? Yes. Get in there, Taylor. Yes. Let I can see. eat it. It looks like you can eat it, but it's still really, really tough right now. So we're going to break that down. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a aluminum pan, a half aluminum pan, and we're just going to set it straight in there like that. Virginia, now, Ohio, Kentucky, I love it. North, North uh, New York. Go ahead, sorry. Thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate it. So I have a little beef stock. Okay. We're just going to go around the pan with some Man, beef that stock. so good, dude. Right? Then we're going to hit it with some stout beer. I'm going to be using Guinness today. Shout out to you, Guinness. Right? One beer is going to oh, be perfect. Oh, man. Getting nice and, and to beefy. That. That's right. Yum. Worcestershire sauce. Boom, that looks delicious. Now we're going to hit a little olive oil. Okay, I see what you're doing there. Right. Then I got a can of Rotel. Shout out. This recipe is available at rectech.com, R E C T E Q.com. Green chilies, one can. Okay. We're going to hit it with a little bit of garlic paste. Now you got to get in there and mix all this stuff up, right, Chef John? No. 
Just you do, don't. You know, you're gonna okay. do just how I'm showing you guys, right? Then we're gonna take some onion, right? We're just gonna go right over the top. Ooh now guys, notice how I poured everything around the side. I don't wanna wash off any of this delicious bark that started to uh, develop okay. on this chuck roast. Love that. Right, so we're just gonna go around the sides with a little bit of onion. Dublin, Georgia. Owensboro, Kentucky. Hudson Valley, New York. This is lime juice, guys. One whole lime. I just cut it in half to make it easy to there. squeeze. You gonna throw that whole thing in there? No, we're just gonna. You could gonna, though, you could, could you? Yeah, okay. you can throw it in there. Let's throw it in there. Two bay leaves. Yes. Put those in the back. Mm. And then some roasted tomatoes. Holy smokes, right? big That's guy. a full pan. And it's gonna bust out. It. No, it's not gonna bust out. We're gonna keep it all contained. All right. So now we're going to hit it with uh, some aluminum foil, and this is going to go on the grill. Now it's going to be on the grill for about another two hours, Jody. Okay, that's really going to break it down. Yes, right. It's gonna All break of it. these items, they're going to break down. Break there's going to be ooey down. gooey, yep. and there's going to be just, just delicious liquid leftovers. That's exactly there. right. You're Cheese exactly and crackers. Right. I'm fired up about it. All right, so I'm going back on the grill. All right, you, you, pick up, you pick up these guys uh, when you come back. Okay. They're right there in the comment section. Shout out YouTube. We really appreciate all the YouTube viewers out there. You guys are kicking butt. Um, make sure you share this all over the internet it's all about beef today yeah. I, we just got back from the big game we uh, went to uh, uh, beautiful Las Vegas Nevada uh, with Virgin Hotels they wanted to do a tailgate uh, type activation yeah and we obliged yeah it was absolutely amazing what was your favorite part Jerry? Uh, probably just meeting everybody that yeah. came out from the rec tech family yeah. uh, redneck in Vegas I can remember one there was two other couple couples and I, I'm so sorry I can't remember y'all's names I feel so bad. Um, but shout out to the pilot, Nick. Uh, as we were okay. leaving, he was coming in. Okay. I couldn't take a picture with him because he was in uniform or whatnot. All right, all right. All right. All right so I've got a tri-tip right here, ladies and gentlemen. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Triangle steak, uh, Santa Fe steak, Santa Maria steak. Uh, really big on the West Coast. Uh, all we're going to do is marinate this thing, okay? This side looks absolutely amazing. You guys can see some good marbling, some of that inner muscular fat. Oh. That's what you're really looking for. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna expose the most amount of surface area. AKA, I'm gonna remove this fat and silver skin so that I can get both my seasoning to penetrate the meat. Okay. And I can also get the smoke from the grill to penetrate the meat. If we were to leave this delicious fat on there, and again, I did say delicious, it is good um, to mix in with other things. But if I were to leave that fat on there, it would prevent me from flavorizing, rectecadizing, and uh, seasoning this side of my tri-tip. So I'm gonna remove that really, really quickly for everybody at home. And again, guys, save this fat. Uh, you can mix it in with like your venison um, Ooh, or, or any other things uh, out there that you're mixing in uh, some beef with. Now, uh, I'm gonna trim this little tip right here. It's just gonna burn. And now we're ready. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, okay? Uh, all we're gonna do is we're gonna get us a liquid vessel, something to hold our liquid. Yes. I've got some olive oil here. I've got about a cup of water. Okay. Lukewarm, you don't want it cold. Screw it, I'll do it all 16 ounces. I don't care. I live life vicariously through myself. <laughs> um, we're gonna use some of that Ray's Loco Gringo. Ooh. Shout out Ray. And then here, I've got uh, orange, <laughs> orange powder. I got onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, uh, and then of course, the chipotle pepper, which makes this a chipotle tri-tip. I'm gonna mix all that stuff up. Beat it like it stole you, just like it stole your card and owes you money. All right, we're gonna, t look at that, look at that bad boy. Submerged in that beautiful liquid right there, ladies and gentlemen. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push down, make sure that that tri-tip is fully submerged in my liquid. This is going to go into the refrigerator up to a day, I love it. up to a day. Okay. You pull it out, you dry it, you season it just like you did with right. the chef Greg's not, and then not with the uh, heifer dust, but then next with that loco gringo. Okay. I've already got one smoking at 225 degrees. Get on in here, Taylor. This bad boy looks absolutely amazing. I just want to show it to you folks before we flash uh, back over to John. But That's this right. thing is bad to the bone. It's at about 110 degrees, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go uh, after John gets done. We're going to come over here. Well, no, I'm going to go ahead and do it now. We're going to come over here. And just, we're just going to sear the outside Let's do it. on the dual fire. Yes, sir, that looks amazing. We've got our direct side right there, burning at 500 degrees. Again, we smoked it at 225 degrees for eh, just under an hour until it reached a, uh, 
Internal temperature of about 90 degrees. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I got you, right, Taylor. Gary Sorry about Collin, that. Gary Rob H., Andy Gowen, Chris Redmill, Scott uh, Woolhouse. Thank you guys so What's much. What's up, everybody? Shout out everybody on YouTube. Shout out everybody on Facebook as That's well. Right. Uh, ask any good questions in the comment section. I saw a good one earlier, Chef John. Yeah. To hit you with it right now. Um, so some folks out there are asking uh, the directions on the back of the injection, yes. uh, specifically the beef, uh, pork, or chicken injection. Yes, sir. Can you half the directions yeah. and use just half yes. of the ingredients you That's, don't have to use all no you definitely don't have to it's just like any other recipe guys that you use you can cut it in half you can cut it in quarters Whatever suits your needs. Great question. That's gonna that's gonna work perfect for you. Yep, great that's question. A, great Happy question. Fun Day Friday, everybody. That's right. All right, Taylor made. So I've had this one in here for about another two hours. Holy Can smokes. I grab this down for please, down please. Thank you. I wrapped it. Let it oh man, I can smell it already. It oh, smells. ladies and gentlemen, I wish you could Delicious. smell it right now. Wow. All right, now let's go ahead and unveil this bad boy. And crackers. Oh, so you see that bay leaf right there, guys? Yeah. You see the tomatoes, the uh, onions we put in there. It looks uh, uh, absolutely uh, uh, amazing. Get out of there. Get out of there, Bailey. So the only thing we gotta do now is just shread this thing up. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, oh, Chef thank John. You, buddy. Wait a second. Oh, get it, get it now. Don't let it beat you, Jody. Don't let it beat you. Hold on. Man, that's Sunday morning right there, there baby. Come Cheese on, get in here crackers. first, Taylor, so we can show how this is just going to shred. Oh, my gosh. Right, so we're just going to shred it in all this remaining liquid. If you want your beef to shred like that, ladies and gentlemen, you got to smash that share button. We'll give you three seconds to do it. Three, two, one. Smash it! All right, so we're just going to shred this up. See how easy that is? Oh, my gosh. So Cheese and crackers, y'all. Nice, you guys. Yeah, so nice. Right, so Chuck Roast. You know, it's not just something like that afterthought. That's meat. right. You could do a lot of cool stuff with it. Yeah, sandwiches. You can let this cool off the next day and yep. even heat it up. Um, I actually like to do a big uh, pot of this. Let it cool off. Yeah. Vacuum seal Ooh. what we don't eat the day of, there and then go. just come back to it in about a month. That's great. Mm. That's easy. That's an easy meal right there. Jay. Right. Yes, sir. All right. So how I finish these, real quick, guys. I got my uh, tortillas out. Yum. We're gonna go ahead and put a little beef in here. Oh my goodness. A little bit of beef. You gotta get some of that juice in there too as well. Got to get that juice. We're gonna that's hit it with a little bit of cheese. That's the utmost importance to get that juice right, in there. And then we got a little bit of cilantro. Right, right on top. And that's how I'd finish those right there, Jerry. Man, those Just look like absolutely that, amazing. Right? I'm gonna make a couple for you. Now again, too. that chuck roast, um, you know, is the poor man's brisket. Yeah. You know, you could slow smoke it. Totally good. Uh, you can do reverse sear. Yep. You know, it's super versatile beat. Yep. Um, some folks, you know, God forbid, would even cook it in the crock pot. It does really, really it well, really does well. Uh, while you're at work. That's again, right. you could cook it uh, in the Rectech while you're at work. Yep. Uh, monitoring it from the Rectech app. I love the again, app. Again, shout out to all of those Rectech app users. Uh, the top three folks out there uh, on the leader. Leaderboard. If you don't know what the leaderboard is, you got to update your app, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Update your app um, and keep yourself up to date. All right, so guys, these could have come out any better. Shoot, yeah. Jody, how close are you on yours? Uh, mine's about to come off. Come on in here, Taylor. Let's show the people. Now, if I had a lime, it would be really great to squeeze a little lime over the top of this, but you're only limited by and your lime? imagination on these delicious. Nick, go run and get a slime real quick. Tacos. And I'm about to pull mine off. All right, get it, buddy. Get it. Again, we smoked this bad boy at 225 degrees for about an hour till a recent internal of 100 degrees. We uh, then brought it over here to the direct side at 500 degrees. Let it sit in there about four or five minutes, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And look, she looks oh, absolutely geez, amazing. She's got a beautiful crustification on the outside. Great. Now you gotta let that rest, of course, ladies and gentlemen. If you cut into it now, all of those juices and all of that energy on the inside is just gonna release yeah. um, and just end up on your cutting board. Yeah, it's so. just gonna pour out. Thank you, Nick, for that uh, yep. line. Uh, Jody, while we're getting everything prepared, I do wanna give a quick shout out to our HR rep, Michelle. She does such a great job. It's one of those shout thankless out jobs, too, putting up with us. Absolutely. So shout out to you, Michelle, we love you. All right, All we're right. going to get some of these questions. We really appreciate everybody asking questions in the comment section uh, down below. What they got, Jerry? Oh, man. They've got a ton of them. There's all 132 people watching. Nice. Shout out. Thanks, um, so uh, Troy's asking how you update the app. Man, very good question. Yeah. 
Uh, you go to uh, the app itself, uh, and you can go up into the uh, little three lines. You hit it, you can go up into your systems, and then update it that way. If you're having trouble, give us a call, 706-922-0890. Um, but uh, you can also delete the app, yep. and reinstall it, and that'll be the perfect way. That rate, that's you definitely get rid of the old version. That's what I do, that's too. What I, do too. I delete and, re and yeah. reinstall it. That's not a cool way to do it, but right. that's the way I do Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very good. Keep the questions coming, everybody. Um, uh, people at work are getting tired of me uh, re regaling all the cooks. Shout out George Delaney. We appreciate George, you, George. What's up? Uh, Marcus Wood is out there. Love you, Marcus. Uh, Troy Waldo. Appreciate everybody for yeah, watching. For sure. um, but Chef John, what else could uh, you serve this with? Uh, this would be great, guys, if you wanted to make mashed potatoes. Just put this over mashed potatoes with some of that wow. delicious jus all mm -hmm. over the top of that. That would be a game changer. Uh, you could also serve this with uh, your like roasted potatoes, roasted carrots. That would be a game Love changer. That. You're only limited by your imagination. This would go great with anything. Yep. And while I was gone last week, you guys spun the wheel of Rectech, sure and it landed on a Rectech shirt. Sure did. Uh, we asked you, ladies and gentlemen, on both Facebook and YouTube to ask a good question, yeah. like the video and share this video, and this person did all of that, and they won. Congratulations, Boom. Mr. at David Roy E. 2204 on YouTube. David, David Roy E. 2204 on YouTube. Shout out, brother. Yeah. Um, we will reach out to you. Confirm that it is you and get that prize headed your way. You can also add in some pellets or get the, get yourself a grill. Yeah, we really do appreciate want. it. Yeah, you can add want. a lot of stuff to yeah, that. For sure. Absolutely. All right, so we're going to spin that wheel. Though. We got to sure. spin the wheel of Rectech. Nick, we're going to use Nick's going to handle that for All us. All right. He's got to spin it to the right uh, and with the utmost confidence in himself. Yeah. So let's count Nick down. All right, count you down. All right, he said he wants to move it to the jackpot because that's what he wants people to win. All right, here we go, Nick. Three, two, one, spin it. Well, all you gotta do guys is like this video, share this video, and go in the comment section and ask an amazing question to win the pizza kit. Oh, no, that's I, nice. I've been wanting to give away a pizza kit for a hot minute now. Yes, uh, um, that's not a bad But yes, one. ladies and gentlemen, love this video, share this video, and ask a good question in the comment section down below. That's right. Uh, um, Kevin is having a hard time finding tri-tip, Chef John. Oh. If you're having a, a hard time finding tri-tips locally, where would you go? Uh, locally, I'm gonna head to Walmart. I know that that sounds funny, okay. but I know that they have them there. Right. So you gotta have to shop rail, guys. If, it, if you can't find it at your, your store that you always go to, branch out, I promise you, one of the stores locally is gonna carry it. Yep. He's gonna search for it yep. sometimes. Yep, and if you can't find it locally, I'm a huge fan of finding like a local farm. My local farm here around town is Chattel Farms. Yep. Uh, I know they've got some amazing Wagyu tri-tips yep. uh, probably on sale right now. So yep. uh, go and check out my good friends at Chattel Farm, shop chattelfarms.com. That's, right. That's my go-to. Um, let me find another good question. What's a good piece of advice that you can give new rec tech owners, Chef John? Don't overthink it, guys. You know, Very the good grill Very will good. do most of the work for you. You live by those four rules that Jody gives you, and you're going to be fine. The right. food's going to taste delicious, the grill's going to operate how it's supposed to, and you're going to be the king of the cul-de-sac. Yep. Another good question. What is the jackpot on the wheel? Oh, tell David me, David. was asking. Tell, tell David. Well, the jackpot on the wheel is everything, Get David. on over there. Get on over there. We'll show, show you the jackpot right here. And I, uh, I approved this through legal you and legal finance. Okay, I got everybody cool. to approve it, okay. but the jackpot is everything on the wheel. Everything Ooh. on the wheel is the jackpot. Um, and again, remember, we're giving away uh, a grill every month on yep. Funday Friday. We give away prizes every week, yep. but we give away a grill every month. Yep. So make sure Tune you in. stay tuned, That's ladies right. and gentlemen. Keep the good questions coming. A lot of folks uh, on Facebook with the really, really good questions. Love it. Thank you uh, so shout much out Facebook. YouTube. We really appreciate y'all for tuning in. Again, if you're on Facebook and you don't have a YouTube, yes. you got to get yourself a YouTube. I promise you, a, a lot of exclusive stuff's going to be coming to YouTube definitely. pretty soon, I hear. Definitely, definitely, definitely. But guys, if you ever need us to, don't forget, give us a call 706-922-0890. Yeah, very good. We have a bank of people standing by waiting to answer your calls. They all use the grills daily. They own the grill, so give them a call. They can answer yep. your question probably before you can ask them. Yep. All right, gr all right, ladies and gentlemen, I think this thing has cooled off long enough. We've waited long enough. Thank okay. you, Daniel, for making me take some of those questions. Um, uh, but again, I'm hungry, man. Yeah, I'm um, excited about this. It is all about Fun Day Friday. And Shoot, yeah. this beautiful tri-tip. 
we found at the Walmart That's locally. Right. Now, right. ladies and gentlemen, your tri-tip is going to be, it's going to technically be kind of two muscles, okay? Yep. It's going to be this muscle right here, which you can see uh, is running in this direction. And then it's going to be made up of this muscle right here, which is going to be running in this direction. So what I like to do is separate those two. Oh, okay. Easy peasy. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Cooked. That's perfection, Jody. All the way through. That's perfection. Perfect. Oh, my gosh. I'm not surprised. I mean, I'm not surprised when I'm big, does, big guy. The grill does all the work. And then uh, this Rectech chef knife. Slicing, slicing through, through like it. Butter. Cheese and crackers. Now, I like to slice it thin, ladies and gentlemen. Keep it nice and thin. Slice it against the grain. Now, while you have everybody's attention while you're slicing, Jenny, why don't you tell them what's your other favorite accessories besides the chef knife? What's your favorite accessory? Man, it's got to be the nitrile gloves and the disposable uh, cutting boards. Mm, uh, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of cleaning up. Yeah. Um, so I'm a huge fan of the nitrile gloves and then the disposable cutting boards. Disposable um, gloves. I also like that rub and sauce bundle. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm a huge fan of uh, the instant read thermometer. Yeah. You know, I'm trying that. to be safe. I love that grill mat. It's one of my favorites. That non Which one is non -stick? non stick? The mesh. Mesh cooking mat. Grill mat. So nice. Absolutely. So nice. All right, brother. I'm a huge fan of the uh, new grill brush, too. Um, I really like the handle because uh, you can hold on to it yeah. and really press down hard. Yeah. Um, and you can just replace it with like a Brillo pad. Uh, not like the metal Brillo pads right. that you buy at the grocery store. Yeah, yeah. You can replace it. That's awesome. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. All right, ladies Are and you gentlemen. ready to get that Rectech bite, bro? Here you go, big guy. Thank you, sir. Give you a little tip. Cheers yeah. to you guys. This is going to be super moist. Oh my gosh. Mm, super juicy. So delicious. We let it sit 24 hours. Mm -hmm. You got to at least let it go 12 hours, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. That is so freaking amazing. That marinade really Flavorful. Penetrates. You guys can yeah. see the smoke ring on it too. Penetrate. Holy smokes. All right, big guy. Here, cut this Man. thing in half. Oh, Unless, uh, yes, taco. Cut that in half. Unless it's much on that. But it should be melt in your mouth. Delicious. Now, I want to send a big congratulations to Miss Teeny Younger. Uh, she was uh, the Rec Tech Tailgate Showdown Champion. Mm. She beat uh, our good friend Matt Gork with Gork Boys Barbecue. Okay. Both of these people have actually, both of these influencers have competed in that next level chef show That's right. with Gordon Ramsay. All right. God bless both mm. of them and thank them so much for uh, being out there with you mm. during the big game. Yeah. Shout out. Uh, Stevie Fredericks, who worked mm. his butt off. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to my buddy Mike Starr with Blazing Star Barbecue. He worked his butt off. Okay. Uh, shout out Shannon and Taylor. They yep. both worked their butts off out there. Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, if you guys are ever staying in Las Vegas, I highly recommend checking out the Virgin Hotel Las Vegas. A plus staff, A plus amenities. Mm. We had an amazing time. This was so um, And uh, we just felt like family when we were there. That's awesome. I would have brought the kids. Um, but I highly recommend staying at the um, Virgin? Virgin Hotel, baby. I love it. And it's kind of off the strip. Oh, okay. You know it's what I'm saying? Off the cut, huh? A little off the cut. I love it. I love it. Mm. Well, guys, we had a great time with you. Is there anything we missed? Nope. No. We want to give a special uh, shout out to Chef Greg. He is out of town right now. Yep. If you guys happen to see him in his big F-250 flying down I-95, give him a honk. Yep. We love him. We'll see him soon. But from all of us here at Rec Tech, I think I cut that with the grain. If you guys don't do not do as I do, do as I say. <laughs> cut against the grain. I think I may have cut it with the grain. Just looking at it now, but cut it against the grain. Why, Just, why? why cut it against the grain? Why cut it against the grain? Yeah. Because it, it's going to create a more tender bite. Oh, okay. You don't want to go against the grain because the striations of fat, if they're like this, mm -hmm. you don't want to get a giant striation of fat. You want to cut all of those striations of fat and oh, bite so all of like a little bit of it. So it just pulls apart. Right. Easy peasy. All right, everybody, from everybody here at the Rec Tech Worldwide Headquarters in beautiful Evans, Georgia, God bless you. God bless the United States. And we'll see you at, at the, the Rec Tech. Tech. Do, do, do. Hey, man, great show, dude. Great show. Mm. Boop, boop, it's boop, all about boop. the beef, baby. Mm.